Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mark Kopic with the Tech Chat. I'm going to take a few minutes this afternoon to uh, evaluate the Action Tech Screen Beam Pro Miratech adapter uh, as it connects to the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 and the Dell Venue 8 Pro. Uh, evaluated the Belkin and the Netgear Mir uh, Miracast adapters and wasn't impressed. Um, I either had trouble connecting to the Surface or connecting to the Dell. I could never, I could not get either of them even after I updated the firmware on both of them to connect to both devices seamlessly. Um, so I do have the Screen Beam Pro up and running. I'm going to grab the Surface Pro 3 here and I am going to try connecting to it. So I go to settings, I go change PC, uh, change PC and devices. I go to devices and I go to add a device. And I have actually already connected to the uh, Screen Beam Pro um, to test out before I started the video, so I am connected to it. So I'm going to go to Devices, Project, and I'm going to select the Screen Beam Pro. And the two are going to pair. And here we have my screen. Um, so as you can see, connected very seamlessly and quickly. Um, I did not have any problems with the initial pairing. Um, performance is very good. There is a little bit of a lag. Here, I'll go ahead and uh, kind of show this if I can. Um, you can just see that as I scroll through here, uh, it wouldn't necessarily work for gaming because of the lag. Um, but frankly, I don't think any screencasting technology really works well for gaming, even Chromecast, um, which prior to this was my standard. Um, even there, I wouldn't necessarily really game on an Android device. So. Um, here we have, uh, again, our modern interface scrolling back and forth works fine. Let's go ahead and try out some video. So we'll do some Netflix here. And we will run some Serenity. Now if I have issues with copyright on YouTube, um, I'll have to block this out as I did on my other videos. Hopefully we won't. Um, video is excellent. Um, it's very high quality. It takes a little while to buffer, just like it always does with Netflix. But once it buffers, the quality is very good. Audio is perfectly in sync, works extremely well. Have no complaints about that. Controlling it, going back and forth, is, 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 is very easy and quick. No problems whatsoever. So it makes for a great video casting solution. Let's go ahead and try some YouTube while we're at it. This video is going to go a lot quicker than my other two videos simply because everything is working as we expect it to. So let's go ahead and see if we can find something interesting here. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if this uh, counts as interesting, but we'll go ahead and play it. As we can see, once again, video is excellent. Audio is in sync. There's no hesitation. Um, very impressed overall with the quality of this Screen Beam Pro adapter. Nothing to complain about there. One of the issues I was having with the other two adapters um, was uh, chopping off the top and bottom part of my screen. That's actually not the adapter's fault. Um, it was actually a setting in the TV where you basically want to turn off overscan. So whatever that setting is on your TV, turn that off and you should see the entire screen as we're seeing here. Um, another nice feature of the Screen Beam Pro is there is a configuration utility that we can run. Uh, we go ahead and connect to it via wireless mode. We select our adapter. Once it connects, this allows us to change settings in the, in the adapter as well as to perform a firmware update. Uh, a little bit easier than the other devices where we had to connect uh, via Wi-Fi Direct and upload the firmware update that way, which was a little more complicated. Here we just basically connect and then we can set our, uh, our configuration settings. We can change the name of the device. We can change the uh, screensaver timeout, things like that. We can also, just as importantly in my mind, check for updates. And we see that we are on the most current firmware update of 1.1.9. But if we wanted to update, we would just hit this Update Now button that's uh, grayed out here at the bottom of the screen. It would perform the update, and it's as easy as that. So a very nice little utility. That's a Windows 8.1. Uh, app that's available in the in the Windows Store works very well with the Surface Pro 3. If we were going to project our screen for a presentation, let's open up PowerPoint here. Again, just the tiniest bit of a lag. Go ahead with our um, presentation mode here. 
We have this nice Office 2013 um, presentation mode, which actually I'll go ahead and kind of point that out because it's actually very nice. It allows us to do things like uh, turn on a little laser pointer here. If we turn that on, we can see here on the screen. Select laser pointer. And it works extremely well. Um, again, there's a tiniest bit of lag, as I've said about four times here already. But it works well enough that I could actually use this to control things and uh, point things out on the screen. But as I said, I can go in here with a pen. I can draw things on the screen. You can really see the lag here. But again, it works well enough that if I were doing a presentation, it would actually be functional. I can uh, highlight information there as well and I can erase it so we'll go ahead and do that again works extremely well perfectly good solution for a teacher or a sales rep or someone who's giving a uh, presentation in a meeting excellent solution works very well connecting to it again is just as easy as going to our devices projecting our screen and we can therefore have our options actually let me uh, let me turn off projection mode or there we go I'm going to go in my devices here and I'm going to project my screen as a duplicate so you can see what I'm doing here. I was extending my screen previously. And if we go ahead and uh, do, do a clone here, then you can see what I'm doing. And again, connecting to the, to the Screen Beam Pro is as simple as going to Devices, Project. We can disconnect here. We can change our settings from Duplicate to Extend to Second Screen Only. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. I'm going to grab my... Dell Venue 8 Pro. Turn it on here. And I am going to go to Devices, Project. Again, I've already set this up. I've already paired this with the Screen Beam Pro in Settings. So I connect to it here. There will be a brief delay while it, while it makes its connection. And once again, I am showing what is on my screen here. Everything works very well. A little bit of a lag. Um, but nothing, nothing terrible. I can go into PowerPoint, and I can go ahead and do a slideshow as I was doing before. All the same tools are there. Do my laser pointer if I want. Works extremely well. And I can go ahead and exit out of that. And once again, I will go ahead and tell it to clone my screen so you can see what I'm doing. Works extremely well. I can go into Netflix, if I remember where it's at. And I can project some video. A knapsack. It takes a little bit of time to stream when I started out on the Dell Venue Pro, but within, with, within 30 seconds or so, it's a nice high-res picture, and it's just as good um, as it is anywhere else. So again, very nice picture, um, uh, very nice performance, very little lag. And if I want to disconnect from the uh, Dell Venue 8 Pro, it's as simple as going to projection and disconnecting. So the bottom line is um, that the, uh, the uh, Action Tech Screen Beam Pro is a very nice solution for connecting your Windows 8.1 device to your TV. Um, it really kind of redeems Miracast in my eyes, uh, given my experience with the Belkin and the Netgear. Um, this was smooth and fluid, and I had absolutely zero problems making the connection and keeping the connection and switching back and forth between devices. Um, in my mind, it really works as well as Chromecast does, which is, which, like I said, was kind of the standard for me um, prior to trying out the Screen Beam Pro. So great job, Action Tech. This is a great solution. It's about 80, 80 bucks or maybe 60 bucks or so. I'm not really sure on Amazon. I'll, I will put a link to that in the notes and on a post when I uh, put it at thetechtech.com. So thank you so much for your time. Highly recommend the Screen Beam Pro uh, Miracast adapter. It makes me feel so much better about the technology. Um, and uh, there you go. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. Subscribe if you want, and thank you so much. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye.